And that's a memo. Now for the top story tonight. Reaction joining us from Washington. Republican Kate Obershane and Democrat Kirsten Powers, also a Fox News analyst. So how do you evaluate, I should say, this story, Powers? It's obviously a terrible tragedy. I, I don't quite understand the expectation that the president would be speaking about it or um, any other groups because unlike the Trayvon Martin case, the attackers were immediately arrested, uh, and which is quite different from the Trayvon Martin case where there was a dead te- unarmed teenager and nobody had been arrested. And I think but that I think, there well, was I think uh, the, a lot of concern well, there. Well, let me, let me answer your question then. Um, I think that the nation... Uh, wants to hear from uh, their leader, President Obama, when inexplicable things happen. So he waited on a Trayvon Martin case. Um, now, if I were the president, would I get involved in this Oklahoma case? No. I, 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 I wouldn't. I don't think there's a racial overtone to this. Two blacks, one white. They were thugs. Um, unfortunately, it happens all the time. However, I think the question is legitimate. You know, if you're going to weigh in on one, Kate, you weigh in on the other. What do you say? I think the president and Jesse Jackson and Al Sharpton and some others jumped at the chance to weigh in when a horror would further their political goals. And that's a horrible thing. It's a horrible reality. But the fact that today Jesse Jackson um, finally said that this kind of violence should be frowned upon. That was his outrage. But Bill, when it served the president's agenda to sort of stir up racial, racial animosity, he compares Trayvon Martin to what his son would look like. Well, do you, well, we well, actually, do you, are you saying that you believe President Obama wanted to stir up racial animosity? Is that what you're saying? I, I think he absolutely wanted to stir up suspicion um, on racial, racial I, I bounds. Disagree absolutely. Entirely. I, I think know the, you disagree I think with the me Sharpton on that. and others wanted to stir up racial animosity. I the think, president jumped well, wait, right wait, wait, in wait. there, Bill. I think the president jumped right in there because he saw an opportunity to, to speak to his constituency that supported him to the tune of 90 Four percent. If so, I think it was a political so, move. If so, then he would be jumping in right now to say we have a serious problem among our young people. That is constituency. He doesn't believe that, we have that, a serious problem. But, yes, among he does. Our young people. Obviously, he doesn't believe we do it. have a huge problem. But this, this is obviously has to do with gang culture. It has to do with rap. Well, I, now it you're, now you're right. Drugs. Now you're absolutely right. But the president of the United States doesn't believe we have a serious <laughs> problem. On what planet nor does do, the president do not believe we have industry. a problem? What? Bill, seriously. Okay, what I, let me answer your question. Does the president not believe that we have a problem? Let me answer you your just question. Don't, you don't agree with his no, analysis of the problem. No, no, no. You just, asked me, you just asked me a question, right? Right. Go ahead and answer it. Can I answer it? Thank you. You certainly right. can. Here. Here's the evidence. Five years in office. He's never addressed it one time. The culture, no, no, no. the coarse culture, the derelict parenting. He's never made it a centerpiece. We've had healthy, healthy gardens. We've had let's do some exercise. We've Bill, had a whole bunch of other outreach here, programs, the problem nothing here, about this. No, the, the difference is that Barack Obama has a different analysis of the situation that I happen to share that you, you dismiss, what, what, which is that what our, gun is culture, that? our gun culture, our gun culture is what is behind this. Okay, yes. so and the trust gun me, just walked up to the gun, Australian and shot That guy him. would be alive. The if gun they didn't just have walked gun, right up and alive. bang, no, just the gun if they didn't have a gun, he'd be alive. They're going to have guns, Kirsten. You know, there are... Wait, 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 Kate, hold it, hold it. This is how ridiculous, uh, Powers, you sound. There are more than 100 million guns on the street of America, all right? Because it's a historical situation. Accept it. There's a hundred million. A historical okay. situation? What does that yeah, mean? That means that when the country was settled, everybody had a gun. Oh, everyone had to have a machine yeah. gun. And yeah, you, yeah, and I'm because sure of the Second Amendment, had you, in mind. and because but, of the but, Second Amendment, no. you can't take them away. No, but Deal I with said that. gun culture. You deal with that. Gun culture. It's, it's a different thing culture. than owning a gun. It's making it sexy. It's making it seem appealing. Uh, it, it's if these so kids ridiculous. didn't have a gun, and they had a gun about a gun knife, owners it would be a completely different good thing. People. It's oh, the so you're seriously of the saying culture. there's not a gun culture? Oh, it's unbelievable you feel this way. 95% of people who own guns are law-abiding good people. That doesn't okay? mean we don't it's have a It's the corruption of certain groups in this sexy. country that's leading to this murder. It's the there's corruption a, of certain groups. What do you mean certain groups? There are plenty of white people who use and guns to go in and kill too. people. Like children in, in elementary schools, in fact, now that I think of it. All right, I mean, what, what is this now? About, suddenly it's just black right. people have a problem? Okay, let, let me get, let me 
to give Kate the last word. Thanks. Go. It's not about gun culture. This is about a culture of violence that is promoted among our young people. It is imperative that we actually have this discussion. This issue will be swept under the rug by people who just want to talk about guns and they just want to talk about white violence and black with violence. Guns, Kate. This is something that what, needs what are they doing the violence but with? Let's talk about guns. let's talk about rap lyrics that promote and glorify um, killing in any way. Let's talk about drugs, rampant use of drugs among our All kids. Right. Let's talk people about talk high school about violence that, that nobody it's doing quite anything apparent. about. I, I got to stop it. It's quite apparent that Kirsten and others do not want to talk about who's pulling the trigger of the gun. They just want to talk about the gun. I don't even and know. And I that means. think that's a fallacy. I do. I think okay. it's it's the pervasive culture, all right, that is coarsening the country and people who don't have good parents, children who don't have supervision are then being put in a situation where they're gunning down people because they're bored. And left, That's the left the doesn't problem. want to talk about it. The media doesn't That's want to talk about it. That's the problem. It. That's not true. Right. The left talks about it. Ladies, no, next on the rundown.